Today's video is going to be a collective haul. Now these are things that I've been collecting for a couple months now and I just thought I would chuck it all together. Now I've done a separate clothing haul. I haven't tried, I didn't try any of the clothes on just because it's just not sort of me to prance my whole body up in front of a camera. So at the moment it's just me holding up the clothes and talking about them. But onto this one, this one's all about Makeup, stationery, camera equipment, and yeah. And I thought I would do a separate video to my Priceline 40% off sale uh, haul. So I thought these are all the things that I brought before the 40% off at Priceline. But you guys, you guys will be seeing that. You guys will be seeing this after my Priceline haul. So, but I'm not going to do this in any particular order. I'm just going to start chucking out some things. I've got a few things everywhere. So I just put a start. The first thing is this empty box. It's actually not empty at the moment, but it's a lens. So it is a photogra uh, photographer's no. portraits made easy portrait starter pack lens. It is the Canon 50mm lens and it's actually what I am filming on right now. It's a different lens than I've ever filmed with before because it doesn't zoom in and out, it just has the one millimeter. So I have to actually move the camera in and out on its tripod. So yeah, and I love this. It's um it's actually the first time I'm filming with this is today. So I filmed three videos before this one. So I'll see how the quality goes. But yeah, and in the starter pack we also got a cleaning pen to clean the lens. I don't know how it works, but I'll figure it out eventually. But yeah, so that is the lens that I am filming on right now. And I got that from JB Hi-Fi. So yeah, it was like $200, so it's one of the more cheaper lenses, but I still think, I actually think the quality is my, it may actually be better than my other lens. So we'll see. Fingers crossed it's good. And if it's good, I might buy a new camera that auto focuses so that way it doesn't take me forever to film. Let's go on to jewelry. Now one of the things I'm wearing now, it is this necklace. And it is natural stone moonstone. So I got this from Lovisa. I got two things from Lovisa when I went. This was 16 Australian dollars, so it's quite cheap if you say if I, yeah, I think so. But moonstones invite new beginnings and increase good fortune. And I I think that's exactly what is needed at the moment. So yeah, this is actually the first time I'm wearing it and I really like it. And I tried, because I wear a lot of silver, I had to look for ages for silver because all they had were rose gold and I don't wear rose gold. I don't even wear gold. So yeah. Then the other thing I got were these sterling silver heart earrings. These were twenty-three dollars. So they're a little bit they're a little pricey, but they're sterling silver and they're little hearts and I love studs. So I thought why not get these from Lovisa also because I actually fell in love with them when I saw them. The next thing is stationery. Now I went to both Kiki K and Officeworks. Officeworks is like a huge stationery shop here in Australia where they sell paper, highlighters, pens, books, everything. Even printers and they do your printing of photos for you. So first thing is highlighters. Now these are new highlighters. I do currently have a set of highlighters that I use now but whenever I close them I always break them as I put the lid back on so I wanted ones that I wouldn't do that to so I think these will be that and because I break because the other highlighters are broken like they're split they don't do a solid line so I wanted I needed new highlighters I also got this adhesive sticky paper to make stickers so we'll see how it goes I haven't used it yet 
but it's got stickers on the end so I just make in a word document you just make the sticker pattern you find the sticker color like you find the stickers you want and then put them in word and then print them out on this paper and then you cut them out and they should work I hope they do I really hope they do and then the last two things I got from office works were some washi tape now I was getting bored of the washi tape I had and I didn't have any green or glitter ones or any pink or purples so I decided to get some new ones because a lot of my washi tape is like blue and blue is not my favorite color neither is green but I thought green for Christmas and then I wanted some more so yeah I got some more washi tape and they were like well, they were like three four dollars each one was three one was four dollars each so they're quite cheap now on to Kiki K I only got three things from there I'm really into at the moment trying to make my planner that I've got from Kiki from Kiki K more pretty and everything so I decided to get a sticker tag inspiration book to put some stickers and some tags into my book so that's that one and then I decided to get while I was there to get my 2017 time planner that it's the weeks so I decided to get the weeks on two pages on the thing just like the refill so it's got the monthly diary pages and the weekly diary pages and then I got this little two pack of stickers that are gold I've got similar ones that I like in copper and I wanted the gold ones so I got them and they last quite a long time so three bucks for those stickers very worth the price that's all the stationery and other stuff now on to makeup now I knew that the price line 40% off sale was coming up but I know that they don't really put like your Real Techniques beauty sponges on sale so I decided to pick up one of these a few months ago and yeah so I decided to pick one up they were on sale at the time so I just got one and it's quite dirty I haven't actually washed it for a while and I've used it quite a bit and I love it it's great for applying my makeup every day just go put it underneath the water squeeze out all the water I wrap it them in tissues to squeeze out all the excess water like I do with my beauty blender and it applies my foundation flawlessly but another time when I went to Priceline I got the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in Fair now I did get another lot of this on the 40% off sale but I'm not sure I haven't actually used this yet so we'll see how I like it but I've heard it's really really good so can't wait to try this out and then I also got a Nivea lip balm just to because I like to apply lip balm just before I apply my lipstick and if I apply my purple ointment it's really glossy and so it doesn't the lipstick doesn't go on as opaque as just I want it to so I like something like this and I gave my last one to my brother so I needed to go get my other one I get another one and then I also got a nail a new nail polish from Priceline it's one of the Sally Hansen miracle gel nail polishes and yeah it's quite nice I've I used it for my confirmation I went to as a sponsor and my fingers on my fingers and I loved it I love like little pale shades on my fingers so yeah that was lovely at the same time I got the nail polish I also got a little nail buffer just to shine up my nails it's got a few it's got four separate sides and they do really they like make my nails really nice and shiny it even has like a little nail file to file the neck edges of your nails down to so they're not sharp and so I've used that quite a bit okay and then the next thing is from Mecca so I recently went to Mecca to get um, just some new foundations and stuff and I also decided at the time well, actually, I went to go pick up the Beauty Loop box. That was quite a while ago. And so at the time I picked up the Beauty Loop box, I decided to go get the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Now, I haven't tried this yet. It's still in its box. I really want to try it. I think I'll do a first impression on it for you guys. I got the shade Pearl, which it's quite light, but the 
let's see how it goes. I love the packaging. It's lovely frosted glass. And it's oil free, which is really good for my oily skin that I've got. And yeah, and so I also decided while I was there to pick up another Urban Decay Naked Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I got the same shade in Fair Neutral. So this is just a little backup of the one I've already got because I'm, I love that concealer, but I'm really petrified of running out of it. So I decided to pick up a backup. And then I knew, but so I, when I went to go get the Mecca stuff, I knew that the Christmas packs were coming out shortly after that. But I really wanted those new things. So I bought them anyway, and then when it came out, like the day it came out, which was a Tuesday, I went and got this online. And it is the Too Faced Grand Hotel Cafe. It's their little Christmas pack. So you just, just looks like this. It comes in like a box, but I took that out. And then I take, then you take the lid off and then you open up the doors. And it comes with the three palettes. Now, they don't, they do smell quite nice. I never knew what eggnog latte smelled like. It smells really good, by the way. Yeah, they, you come with three palettes. They all have two and from in the back, but they're for me. It was only 70 Australian dollars. And the, and as you guys in Australia probably know, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette is $79. And so, I kind of thought it would be, this would be the exact same price as the chocolate bar palette because it is, this is the same price as the chocolate bar palette on the Too Faced website, but, chocolate, but it's not. So this one was cheaper, which is really good. And I actually also thought they're going to be bigger than my hand, but it's still good and I love them and they come with it, come on. And they come with a new Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And this is my absolute favorite mascara. And I've never bought a full size of it. And so I decided to just wait until I finish up all my mascaras. Until I buy a new one. So yeah. And then because I bought that online, it was $70. And you have to spend $100 to get free shipping. Or else it's like $10 or $15. So I decided to pick up a backup of my Purity Skin Cleanser. Now, I love this cleanser. It takes up all of this makeup that I lather on my face every single day, and I love it. All I need is just to use one, I just use this once, and then use my everyday cleanser to cleanse my face, and it's all perfect. So I love this, and I've got about this much left in my other one, so I decided to pick up this one. This was exactly $30, so it gave me to $100 and the free shipping. So yeah, that was amazing and I loved it. Now on to my Revlon stuff. Now, you guys may not know, but I recently got a job that I work with Revlon, so I needed to, and you need to wear all Revlon products, or as much as you can. So I needed to buy a few products for Revlon that I didn't have, like a primer, powder, blush, eyeshadow and all that, and a mascara. Now this is not sponsored at all. I have to actually do an online training with them, which they call e-training. And so with that, you got a free gift. And in that free gift, I got a mascara, one of their all-in-one mascaras. It's got a weird wand but it's quite a good mascara I don't have it on right now but it's still a really good mascara and then I also got this lipstick which is wine with everything it's a pearly shade it's quite a dark color it's a ready pinky mauvey color sort of really weird to explain but and then at the time I got all my products and they had a gift with purchase at Revlon so I'll show you the gift first and then I'll show you everything that I got because I actually got two gifts and I, because that's because I brought these two things on separate days and I needed to equal 
$60 because when I was working in the city, you had a, if you spend $60 or more, you got the free gift plus an extra lipstick. And because I have so many lipsticks, I wasn't going to pay any money for their lipsticks. So I decided that I would do it twice, give one of the gifts to my mum because she can never have too much makeup. So she got one of the gifts, I got one of the gifts and I spent a little bit over, I spent maybe $130 on the two, in, in two days, on a Monday and then on a Tuesday. So in the gift, this is the little gift that they have, you get the bag and then a mascara which is the same one as I've got from the other one which I got in the gift that I got for finishing the e-training. And then you also got a nail polish, which is a pale pink with some purpley pinky reflex through it. Haven't actually tried that one yet. Got this sandstorm terracotta colour lip gloss, which is kind of not the best colour in the world. And I don't like lip glosses, so I probably won't ever wear this, but mum likes this colour. So I think I'll give it to her. And then I got a blush, which is a really nice blush. I wear it because I needed like a blush, eyeshadows, powder, contour, and a primer for for all this stuff. For like, because you have to wear all Revlon products when you work with Revlon. I needed a blush, so I was really happy with this blush, and it's quite nice. And I probably won't ever buy a different blush from Revlon because I'll stick to this one and all the other ones I've got. And then I got this eyeshadow colour, which is an awesome colour, by the way. It is a, it's got a gold, it's got a gold, a pinky colour, a highlighting light pinky colour, and then a burgundy colour. And I love that. This is a great quad. I've only ever worn it once, but that's because I try and, because I have so many eyeshadows, I don't really want to get any Revlon eyeshadows, but because it was in the gift, I decided why not and so I have one, one of those gifts and then my mum has the other one and then because of the because I went sep two separate times and spent over $60 both times in the city I got two free lipsticks one each time one is Sassy Marv which is a Marvy nude color which is like my go-to nude these days so I love that one and then this other one is certainly red which is a nice bright red color I was trying to because I think red's like a prominent, well, I don't know, red is a prominent Revlon colour, so you should have a red Revlon lipstick if you work for Revlon. So that's this one, and I tried to pick my perfect red that I could wear, and that was that one. So at once, at one time, I got the new Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit, which is Co creative with Chloe Morello here on YouTube and it's amazing I love the banana shade to sit underneath my eyes the glow shade to create a glow and then a bronzer and the highlighter uh, and the con contour and it comes with a little thing here that goes over the colors just so you can tell which one's which if it's not already obvious and then just a how-to thing and that all sticks in there. I've used this quite a few times and I love it. And then it also, then I also got a Revlon Frodo Ready pressed powder. And this is amazing. I love this. It's great for setting the face and giving it that flawless finish that I love. And it even has a little mirror and a little brush. I love that. I've used it a few times already. And then the Photo Ready Primer. It's the perfecting one, not the colour correcting one. So it perfects the face. And I don't know if it does anything, to be completely honest, but I've only used it once or twice. So I need a few more tests with it before I can love it. But something I do love is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Primer and Highlighter. Or Brightener. So this is just like a primer for underneath your eyes because you're not meant to put these sorts of primers underneath your eyes. So I put this primer underneath my eyes and on my eyelids 
for a more flawless base for my concealer to go under, over. And yeah, that's everything I got. I bought at Revlon. And, oh, no. Because one, one time, one didn't equal up to, I think it was when I bought the two primers, it didn't equal up to be $60, and I wanted the lipstick. So I decided to get one of their candles, because it was one of the cheaper things I got there. It was $20, but it's one of their Christmas candles. I got the scent Summer Breeze, but it is a nice Christmassy candle. I love it. I probably won't use it until I finished up this candle here. But it's actually one of the first candles I've ever bought for myself. And I love it. And it smells amazing. I can't wait to light it and start smelling summer in my house, seeing as we're in summer. That is my complete haul of everything that I've got recently. For you guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I love doing hauls. I haven't done a haul in about a year. Maybe a bit more than it. Maybe a bit less than a year. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done a haul. Ooh, eye mats. Eye mats was the last haul I did. Which eye mats was about this time last year. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because that means so much to me when you guys do. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.